delighted with him. Um, you know, he's been he's been a revelation since he come. Um, funny, we went to watch Livingston play, you know, maybe two years ago, and we hear Mark Decky then, and you know, he's we've we've constantly monitored him and monitored him, and he's he's grown as a player and as a person, and you know, I think he's you know his, his recognition for Scotland's been thoroughly deserved, and hopefully he continues. Just a normal decky, you know. He's he's full of fun. He's he's a big character in the dressing room. The boys love him, you know. You know whether you win, lose, or draw a deck, he's the same. You know he keeps the dressing room alive, and you know on the pitch we've we've got him to drive himself. You know his training standards were something that we tried to get up when he first come, and and now his standards he's setting standards for other people as opposed to us trying to set them for him. Yeah, you know, I have a, a brilliant relationship with all the players. You can only start 11 of them. So, you know, it's important that the boys that aren't playing, you, you try and keep on board as well, as frustrated as they are, which is, is understandable. But, you know, I, I try and be honest with people. We try and treat them well. And, you know, at the end of the day, if I'm linked with something that's down to the players or, you know, if the players are linked with, with clubs or playing for their country, it's because of Motherwell Football Club, you know. So, you know, we, we appreciate each other. And I think there's a good bond and relationship between all the staff and, and the players at Motherwell. It's certainly giving the players confidence. Um, sometimes I wish they believed in themselves as much as I believed in them, and that's the hard bit is convincing people, you know, that you can you can go to these places and put on a performance and you know get results if you really believe. And you know they started to believe our position and our our style of play. Where you know we've been attractive on the eye. We've played a lot of good football, scored a lot of goals, and there's no reason why we can't. Of course, you know the realism is. Celtic on their day are very, very good side, you know, as our Rangers, you know, so we have to be at the top of our game, but giving them that belief, I, I believe after the Rangers game, you know, they believe in what we've done, they believe in each other, you know, you look next day, you look at the bench, and I think we've got a strong squad, so why not? They have to be, you know, if you, you go with a negative mindset, you, know, you might as well be beat before you start. So, you know, we've, we went to Rangers, we played two up top, we might do the same again, we might change the system again, we might go with what we've done because the system we played against them on on the first or the second game of the season did cause problems for 35 minutes albeit but I think we're fitter and we're stronger and we're more versed in what we do than that, that stage of the season as, as probably our Celtic so make no mistake it's a tough game for us but we're certainly going with a positive mindset it's a young squad there will be ups and downs there'll be periods of time where I have to take some of the younger players out of the team and, and give them a little break which I've done with James Scott at the moment you know he's fantastic for us brought him out for a couple of games and you know he'll be ready to go back in so it's it's about managing them and, and also managing expectations expectations because um, the expectations have risen here and when you do lose games no matter if it's against Celtic or Rangers the, the fallout's bigger so it's about managing that as well.